The first song I'm going to be singing is Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. Why don't you start by introducing yourself? Um, hi, my name's Abigail Young, and I'm a 17-year-old singer-songwriter from Oregon. Fantastic. Uh, how would you describe your music? Um, I'd say it's very chill, very relaxed. Um, I like to keep it pretty simple and just something easy that you can listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 definitely very very beautiful music. It's it's very stripped back and and it allows it allows you know your voice to really come through and everything. It's really Thank nice. You. How long have you been playing music? Um, well, I've been singing for like as long as I can remember, but I've been playing guitar, ukulele, and piano for about five or six years now. Awesome. So. Did you did you start with guitar or do you have like another main instrument that you use? Um, I mostly use guitar, but when I was first learning how to play everything, I used my ukulele a lot more, but I like the richness of the guitar better. So that's kind of been my shift. The next song I'm going to be singing is I See Fire by Ed Sheeran. Oh. Misty eye of the mountain below. Keep careful watch of my brother's souls. And should the sky be filled with fire and smoke, keep watching over during sun If this is to end in fire Then we should all burn together Watch the flames climb high into the night Call them now, Father, oh, stand by And we will watch the flames burn All burn on the mountains Raise a glass of wine for the last time. Call the now. 
Now I see fire inside the mountain. I see fire burning the trees. I see fire hollowing souls. I see fire blood in the breeze. And I hope that you remember me. Oh. In mountain halls, we got too close to the flame. Calling out, Father, oh, hold fast, and we will watch the flames burn on and on in the mountainside. Desolation calls upon the sky. So I saw that uh, in in our emails that we were sending back and forth, you mentioned your uh, your music technology teacher. Uh, how how are you currently pursuing music? Is it just kind of a hobby, or are you looking to pursue it more seriously, like academically, or or anything like that? Yeah, I've been um, wanting to do it full time. I want it to become my actual career. So I've been mostly teaching myself how to edit and produce my music. I've had a couple classes. But um, yeah, I want to become an independent musician and I want to show other female artists that you can become female musicians and that it doesn't have to be a male dominated industry. That's kind of been my main focus recently. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about going to Berkeley College of Music. Um, I'm still kind of deciding whether I should do that or whether I should wait a year or transfer. But yeah, I would love to do it in college. This next song is a song I wrote called Honey. Keep my gaze on the ground Cause I'm falling for 
I noticed that in your videos, were you playing a, a left-handed guitar? Yes, I'm left-handed. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I, I, it's something that I, I didn't notice at first. Mm -hmm. And as I was kind of watching, I was kind of looking and I was like, wait, that doesn't look right. Hang on, is this? <laughs> and I was like, oh, is the video mirrored? And I was like, no, wait, no, it's just a left-handed guitar, you dingus. All right, gotcha. <laughs> okay, cool. I know it's so hard to find left-handed guitars. It's like they mm. barely make them at all, and they're normally more expensive. So, what? Yeah, it's a struggle. But that's so <laughs> that's so lame. Why would you make them? Ah, oh, why would My you make them more expensive? My first year of playing ukulele, I bought like a fifty-dollar one off of Amazon. It wasn't great quality, but it said it was left-handed, so I was learning how to do all the chords and everything. But um. I learned that it was actually right-handed. So for over a year, I played a ukulele upside down. Oh, that's funny. I know. So wait, did you, okay. But were the chords correct, despite the fact that it was upside down? Yeah, I just mirrored, I just, just like inverted them, I guess. Oh, I just played huh. the chords like backwards. <laughs> oh, that's so wild. <laughs> I know, it was, at first I was so confused. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> but yeah. That's so um, funny. Yeah, it's a lot harder to do that on guitar, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. um, I have a few more kind of sillier questions here, so but but these are fun. I like them. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> if you were a drink from like a bougie coffee place, what oh. drink would you be? Oh, you're asking me like really hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so hard. Um. I'd probably just go with a caramel macchiato. That's mm. kind of my go-to drink at any coffee place. Um, I don't know. I think they're good. <laughs> That's really hard, though. Yeah, I'll go with yeah. caramel macchiato. <laughs> no, it's it's a tricky one for me as well. I feel like... Um, see, I don't even know the answer to my own question, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, maybe like an iced latte of some kind. Mm. Yeah. They're just, mm, that's so refreshing. Like it's really simple, but like mm, mm -hmm. it's it's incredibly refreshing. Yeah. So uh, to close out, uh, where can uh, where can people find you on the internet? Yeah, I have an Instagram and a TikTok at Abigail Young Music. Um, you can find me on any streaming platform if you just search up Abigail Young, and I will show up. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you very much for uh, for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.